All right, let me show you how you can use your uh, private and public keys, also known as your asymmetric uh, pair and address, which is a kind of uh, representation of your public key. So there are two options that you can use, actually four options, because uh, you can sign and verify message with your address uh, and with your private key. And you can encrypt and decrypt a message with your private and public keys. So you can open these windows from this toolbar or you can go to this tab and choose uh, which address you want to use to sign and verify message or to encrypt and decrypt your message. You also uh, may want to use this tab to copy uh, your current address if you will use this tool. So you just copy and paste to the relevant field. Okay, say we have a kind of use case where someone wants to sure that it is your address, some specific address belongs to you. Uh, we assume that this someone, let it be Alice, Alice knows uh, some kind of address that you claim that it is your address. And so what she want to do is that she will send you some, some message, uh, any phrase, any password, any whatever she wants to send you uh, secretly that no one uh, knows it, of course, and you don't know it uh, before. It can actually be a, the current block, the current height of the, of the ledger, for example, hash sum of the ledger, or just any phrase. Supposedly, she sent, uh, she wants to verify this address. And so because you own this address, you have the private key, the relevant private key to this address. A right click and you open this small menu and you can browse here and find whatever you need in here. So for example, you can extract your private key from this address. But in this story, we want to sign and then Alice will ver verify. So let's do it. So you see, you don't need to uh, copy and paste the address. She sent you a verification message. Say, hello world, and then you sign it. Because uh, in my wallet, all private keys are encrypted. They're protected with, with, with my password. I will use it to, um, to extract from the protected storage the private key and then the the application will use it automatically to sign uh, the message and click OK. Here the system just generated this signature. And the only thing I have to do now, I just copy, paste and send this signature to Alice. Now what Alice is going to do, she will use this tool uh, and she will verify if this signature that I've just sent here corresponds with this address. So what you want to do is that so here in this field address, she will uh, paste the, the address she wants to verify. She will type uh, the verification message and because she knows it, I don't send this message to her. I just send the signature. So, uh, hello world. And the next step, so in the field signature, she will just paste the signature that I have just sent here and click signature verify. So now she knows that I really control this address and I have the relevant private key. Another scenario would be say, I don't have the private key to this address. Say she wants to verify this address, but I don't have this address in this list. It's not my address, we just assume it. 
And so I want to trick Alice. I am using any 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 address that I really have. Type in uh, hello message. Uh, here verification message. And so instead of signature that I previously generated, I sent her this signature that I generated using uh, another private key. She will paste this signature. She will use the initial uh, address that she wants to verify. And she will use her verification message. And when she uh, clicks verify, the system says it's wrong signature. There is another scenario that can happen is that when I uh, sign the message, say using this address or any other address, um, I mm, accidentally or mm, by intention can use another phrase, say this, it's not the phrase that she sent me to verify the address. And so, of course, it will And so, of course, it will generate completely different signature. And so when she will be trying to verify it, so I send this signature and uh, she doesn't know what exactly uh, message I type in. She will be trying to use the message that she sent me. And so when she clicks verify, again, she will get wrong signature identification. Another scenario that I want to show you is that how to send encrypted and decrypt messages. So it will be a secret message that we send each other and no one will be able to read it except those who own private keys. In the asymmetric cryptography, you have private and public key and private key you can use to encrypt uh, the message and then uh, someone will be able to decrypt it using your public key. And normally this scheme is used for digital signatures that I've just showed you. Uh, uh, there is another way though, uh, we can use it in the opposite way. So someone can send me a secret message. For example, wants to send me encrypted message and she will use my public key to encrypt it. And then she uh, will send this encrypted message. And because I am the one who controls the relevant private key, only I will be able to decrypt it. So let me show you how does it work. Say we're going to use uh, the same address. Uh, I remind you that address is a representation of your public key. We will use this tool. As you see, when I open it, the system uh, shows me the relevant public key. So here is the address, but uh, this address is representation of this public key. So when I, when I choose it, it just uh, automatically uses the relevant public key. And so, uh, say Alice knows uh, this uh, public key. Uh, it's actually uh, called public key for that reason that you can share with, with the general public. You can share with, with anyone you want. And so she sends you some kind of secret message. Uh, hello world and clicks encrypt. Here is the encryption, uh, encrypted message. Now she can close it and send me somehow whatever she can use. She can even uh, send it publicly. When I receive it, I will use um, again this tool um, because I know which public key she used. For example, she notified me she said, okay, I used this uh, private, this public key. 
uh, as I know it belongs to you. So supposedly uh, you will be able to decrypt my secret message. So I mm, paste her secret message and I'm trying to decrypt it. So at this moment, system wants to extract my private key, relevant private key from the uh, protected storage. I just uh, input my password to extract it. You see the system decrypt the message and I know what Alice wanted to tell me. So now let's recap the whole uh, thing that I've just explained to you. You have public and private keys uh, in your wallet. Address is a representation of your public key. There are two options that you can use. Uh, you can use digital signatures to sign and verify messages. And you can encrypt and decrypt messages. And so you can securely send some messages to other people. You can communicate securely. And so nobody will be able to read your secret messages.